Good morning. Today we are discussing about Kirchhoff's law. First one is Kirchhoff's current law. That is KCL. Kirchhoff's laws are two important laws in electrical engineering. Uh, Kirchhoff's laws was proposed by a German physicist whose name is Gustav Kirchhoff. Gustav Kirchhoff. He gave two laws to solve electric circuits. That is the first one is Kirchhoff's current law and second one is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's current law is known as KCL and Kirchhoff's voltage law is known as KVL. Let's discuss about first one Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law is actually used for determining or calculating the current flowing in various branches of an electrical network. It is used for determining the currents, that is, the electric current, electric currents flowing through various branches of a network it is based on current it is based on used to calculating the electric current flowing through various branches of a network let's go through the statement of this law kirchhoff's current law or kcl states that kirchhoff's current law or kcl states that the algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction in an electric circuit is zero it only states that the algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction in an electric circuit is zero that is the algebraic sum of currents algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction in an electric circuit is zero it can be also represented as the sum of currents flowing towards the junction is equal to sum of currents flowing away from the junction. This is a basic definition for Kirchhoff's current law. That is, the sum of currents flowing towards an electrical junction is equal to sum of currents flowing away from the junction. This law is actually based on the law of conservation of charge. Charge, because charges is, we know that electric current is a flow of charges and charges cannot accumulate at a point. It will flow. That is, a Kirchhoff's law states that the sum of current flowing towards the junction is equal to sum of currents away from the junction. For an example, let us consider a simple electrical junction as shown. Let's consider three points, three branches are meeting at a common point. Branches and let the incoming current, let one incoming current is I1, outgoing current is I2, another outgoing current is I3 and another incoming current is I4. This is an electrical junction, junction where four branches are meeting, where four branches of an electric circuit is meeting. And from this example, we can represent Kirchhoff's current law. That is, considering the direction of currents are shown, that is, the current entering into the junction is taken as positive direction of current and current leaving the junction is taken as negative direction of current. Therefore, according to Kirchhoff's current law, we can represent the algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction in an electric circuit is zero. That is, we can represent the algebraic sum of incoming currents and outgoing currents is equal to zero. That is, incoming current is taken as positive. For instance, we can take as incoming current as positive and outgoing current is taken as negative. That is, we can represent I1 positive I1 plus another incoming current that is I4 plus the direction of I3 and I2 is taken as negative because they are leaving the junction. That is, plus minus I2 plus minus i3 is equal to 0 this is kirchhoff's current law that is i1 plus i4 minus 
i2 minus i3 is equal to 0 and this can be also written as i1 plus i4 is equal to i2 plus i3. This is the second statement that is sum of the currents flowing towards the junction is equal to sum of the currents flowing away from the junction. So this is the basic for Kirchhoff's current law that is sum of the currents flowing towards junction that is I1 and I4 are flowing towards junction and I2 and I3 are flowing away from the junction. This is just an example that is therefore from this example we can conclude the sum of the currents incoming current sum of incoming currents is equal to sum of outgoing currents. Kirchhoff's current law is also known as junction rule because it specifies the uh, specifies a method to calculate the currents flowing through a junction of an electrical circuit it is also known as junction rule this is the basics of Kirchhoff's current law